This is a HeadGum Podcast. Happy Bonus Thursday episode. Thanks to a special new sponsor. Tell me. That's <gasps> right. It's Ring. That's your name. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my nickname. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this is completely unrelated to that. That ding you heard reminds you of something, right? It's a package being delivered or friends coming over for dinner. Yeah. It's yeah. doorbell. <laughs> exactly. Guests have arrived. <laughs> yeah. It could also be the sound of someone planning to rob you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, 95% of home break-ins happen during the day. I did not know that. That's right. Burglars start by ringing your doorbell to see if someone's home, and if they're not, they'll they'll pillage your possessions. Oh. But with the Ring Video Doorbell, you can see and talk to anyone at your door from anywhere in the world using your smartphone. And Ring's advanced motion detection alerts you if someone, even if they don't ring the doorbell, uh, it's like having a caller ID for your house. So on your phone, you can see who's near the doorbell or rung the doorbell. It's a video stream. That does seem kind of worthwhile, actually. Yeah. It's like having a neighbor keep an eye on your house 24-7. Only the neighbor is you. Exactly. The best neighbor of all. And installing the Ring video doorbell takes minutes, and you can it can put your mind at ease. And now, our listeners get a free expedited FedEx shipping when you go to ring.com slash if I were you. That's ring.com slash if I were you. If this sounds like something you need, check out ring.com slash if I were you, and you can get the ring delivered to you, and hopefully that'll be the last time someone uh, rings your doorbell and delivers something without the ring video doorbell. That's what's up. Because I ain't trying to get robbed. <laughs> Ring Video Doorbell. You're always home. Thanks, Ring, for sponsoring this episode. Yeah. Bringing us back on a short week. Uh, this is actually a special episode. Justine of I Justine is in the house. Wow. Very exciting. And if you don't know, now, now you, you know. know. Well, you don't know yet, but you will after the... Right. Thing, yeah. Because things got real. It's just some friends hanging out, trying to help you with your problems. Jake the Bear, Mir the Sphere, telling you to seize the cheese. Ask Horace. If I were you, the show. If I were you, the show. I flew a kite this weekend. Hashtag dope. Whoa. What did you think about that? That was really good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, what is the last thing he said? I what this weekend? Flew I flew a kite. A kite. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Who does that anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Not enough people. That's the answer. No. Uh, really quickly, Justine. Hello. Do you want to? How do you say your last name? Ezeric. Ezeric. Yes. Justine Ezeric. Yes. Um, I just wanted to say real quick, one, to introduce you. Two, that song was written for us uh, in September of 2013, and I just found it yesterday. September of 2013. Where were you? Two and a half years ago. We were still living in New York. Wow. Yeah. I was just getting back from Burning Man, I bet. No, it was right when we got back from London. What? Remember when you had a scooter? <gasps> that? Oh, 2013. When did yeah. I go to Burning Man? 14? Yeah. <laughs> See, this is how much time has <laughs> passed. That, that's remember? what Burning Man does to you, man. <laughs> that was when I was on the... Oh, no. Well, at past September, I was off the scooter. Right. No, so that was that Iceland. same summer. Yeah. So... Sorry, this is so boring. No, this is great. I have no idea where I was, so I can't even participate. (laughs) I have no idea where Jake was. Yeah, you're a guest in my home. I'm like, no, I was on the scooter. Wait, I was at Burning Man. (laughs) Where was I? It makes no sense. But that was the summer. Burning Man was the summer of the scooter. Oh, was it? Yeah. You remember the summer of the scooter, Justine? Well, I know I've been participating in the fall of the hoverboard, so, <laughs> so it's you the know. Same thing. That's, it's a very, it's actually way less. Actually, no, they're probably equally lame, maybe. It's a very, have, you ever wrote, have you ever written, written whoa, a hoverboard? Whoa, she's, she's pro whoa, hoverboard. Whoa, I love the hoverboards. Justine actually, I made like fun that. of people. I was like, I don't like you. I, this is, judging people is not a nice thing. So I was actually judging people thinking the hoverboard was stupid. They are stupid for getting yeah, on them. Yeah. And then I got on one, <gasps> and now I'm stupid. Do you and, ride one? I mean, in my house. But, but do you ever like go down the street in one? No, I on sister, my sister did and twice, it, and she fell. <laughs> she basically her entire body was so bruised. I was like, "Cool, that's." But that's see, like, I'm not saying they're, they're like, not fun. They're yeah. not cool, though, right? <laughs> I don't and know. The don't people know. that I see on them are kind of cool. I guess that's kind of true. Uh, they're like know. cool people. I don't want to leave the house. Yeah. <laughs> but. Then, then again, at the same time, when I walk past someone that's riding it, they never look me in the eyes. They're always staring down and kind of <laughs> always on their phone. Yeah, they're just like, "This is." 
whatever. This is fucking I, cool. I, th- I was so excited to, we were at the, some house where they had a hoverboard. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I want to go on it. And I like put one foot on it and I felt so unsteady. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you know what? Now is not the time. No, yeah. it takes it seems some time. Hard. It, it's not hard once you get used to it. And if you've ever used like a Segway before. I, mean, I it's, haven't. Oh, well. It's what like about a, a skateboard? Is it easier or harder than a skateboard? I think the learning curve is there's it's easier for the hoverboard. Easier skateboard, than a hoverboard. Yeah, it's a little a little cool. bit more difficult. Cool. All right, fine. I'll get one. <laughs> okay, Whoa, fine. Awesome. Easy. That would be a cool office purchase, actually. They are catching on fire. Yeah. So that. you need to be careful. It just seems so dangerous. Like someone will get hurt. You'll just ride it until you hurt. Ride or die. <laughs> Skate or die. Yeah. Can you tell I'm 33 no. that I'm just like being an adult about hoverboards? Like, you'll just get hurt. What's the point? You will. And then you're going to get one and be like, well, it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> have you fallen off one? Um, Yeah, I have. Awesome. Yeah. Not as hard as my sister. Twice. Hit her head both times. <laughs> oh, head? Was... That's like, that's oh, dangerous. It's bad. It's super helmet? dangerous. No, of course not. Oh, oh God. Fell on the street? Yeah. <laughs> Hit her head there? Yeah, she's, she's still alive. She actually has a vine of it. And it's like the best thing ever because she was filming a video. Oh, and my just, God. <laughs> as she fell, the, the camera stopped recording. So that must be really amazing. We sh- that's like a great just search on vine it's right? good People, yeah. yeah how can one see that after. okay it's great cool uh so justine uh uh how are you what you are what have you done and why do people know you perhaps you're you're kind of a big deal uh and in know. case somebody's listening they're like i don't know about this justine character what's like the elevator pitch as to who you are oh geez and I why mean, you are you know sometimes i'm not sure about myself either but uh, you know i mean i started doing the whole internet thing super early so i mean I, I go back to the days of, do you guys remember Campus Hook? Yeah, um, that was a college humor I social know, network. I know. So I go all the way back to like, I remember that was like the first sort of social network that I kind of joined because my college didn't have Facebook. Wow. So I couldn't do anything. So I was joining like pretty much every social network, making videos, making Whoa. my own websites, coding everything, you know, back in like sixth grade, I think. Wow, which shit. Was a really long time ago. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, college I just, humor was really early, but I feel like you predated even the college humor original videos. It was a you were doing long stuff in like oh four, right? Um, I think I mean I started posting in like oh five, like officially. Do you remember Rever? Do you remember god. that website? Yeah. Yeah. Oh I my mean, god. It was a, like everything. It Wait, was so crazy. the name I Justine, were you like the first person to do that? <laughs> Did you right predate after, the iPod? I well, think like, it was when the iPod it, came out. So I that was, was like, like yeah, your yeah. play was that like your play on the iPod? Like was that you what I'm trying to say is like now there's iCarly and iRobot and i everything and like just want to say I registered my domain main i just seen.com in 2002 oh. iCarly was 2005 wow. and I'm pretty sure they've already admitted to ripping me off but it's That's cool. insane. Yeah, you were yeah. like the original one of the original one of the first like vloggers of sorts. Yeah, I mean it wasn't I wasn't sure why I was doing it but it was fun. And I really started doing it because I went to school for production and editing. So I wanted to teach myself to edit a little bit better. And then people started watching the videos that I was posting. So they were sort of like demo reels so I could get like production jobs. Wow. And it was just very strange. And then you became like the talent. Yeah, because nobody would want to be in my videos. But now it's really funny because everyone wants to be in the videos. Well, now you're like this this huge, quote unquote, YouTube star. True? I guess. (laughs) Millions of followers, subscribers. You're screaming. I don't know. You're, well, I'm you, screaming. No, no, okay. Screaming. I was gonna say I didn't think I was. No, you're but I don't know. Right. I don't know what you want to like identify as. You know, I'm not sure either. I'm. You know, <laughs> I make fun videos and I love what I'm doing and somehow it's a job. Yeah, and you're so, still doing it. Yeah, still doing it. Still making videos. Yep. Still releasing it yourself. Yep. Still shooting it yourself. Yep. Editing yourself. Yep. Oh man. Yep. I don't. That's why I said I don't leave my house. It took me forever to get here. I was like, sorry, I don't get out much. So yeah, you hoverboarded here from Santa Monica. It probably would sister. have been quicker. I don't know, but she's pretty much at my house all the time. So we basically live together. You that's might as nice. well live yeah. with your sister. Might as well. Uh, so if you don't know about this podcast, it's an advice show. Basically, the only advice show on the internet that Jake and I host. Okay. And it's called If I Were You. And it's just Jake and I giving advice as we would uh, if people need it. And then sometimes it's just me and Jake and sometimes we have guests and today we have you. This is great. Uh, Very exciting. Are you willing to lend some of your wisdom? Oh, yeah. I've got tons of it. (laughs) Okay. This is perfect. This is going to be great. (laughs) Um, So the way it works is we comb through these questions that are emailed to us. Emailed? Emailed. Emailed question. Electro mail. Some of these came over okay. telegraph. So you okay. can tell he's 33. Uh, and we're going to give these real emails from real people, fake names, just okay. to preserve their anonymity. And I was wondering if you can give a fake name to this guy who wrote us an email 
not three days ago. Do we get to read the email first and then give him a name? Oh, we've never done that, but Ooh, maybe we could. Okay, okay, all right. He'd like this to. good, all right. All right. All right, so somebody wrote. This is a really short one, too. Good. That sounds good. If a girl doesn't like my Instagram photos, is that a pretty good sign that she's not into me? That's the mm. entire question. Who wrote that? He sounds like a Bob. Okay. He sounds very insecure. Yeah. But that's okay, because usually if she doesn't like your Instagram posts, it's probably because that's a plan. Oh. Yeah, because she knows that you're going to get the notification, and then he's going to be like, oh, she's thinking about me, so she's only going to do it strategically. Okay. Oh, I see. Very strategic likes. So do you remember poking on Facebook, talking about early internet? We're all in the 05 to 08 internet phase. You can still poke. Really? It's yeah. like hidden somewhere. I got a, a notification. It was like, someone poked you. I was like, <laughs> I'll poke. Okay. I'll still fuck Do with the poke. Do you remember the gifts? I sent some pokes a little bit. What yeah, are the gifts? gifts? used to give the actual gifts. Yeah, oh, yeah, gifts. gifts. Yeah. You have to purchase them. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the most insane thing in the world. Yeah, you'd like buy an icon to send, a, buy an emoji. I bought so many for people. Like, it was <laughs> disgusting. It's kind of fun because it's like a silly way to spend $5. And then it's like, oh, now I'm able to give you a smiley face. It's incredible. Man. Uh, anyway, so, um, what was it? Bob? Oh, oh, Bob. Bob, Bob said, <clears throat> if a girl doesn't like your Instagram posts, does that mean she's not into you? No, she might be. So you, I, have you ever had a crush on a guy and purposefully not liked any of his Instagram photos? Oh, yeah, for sure. None of them, though? No, not... I'm sure... Okay, Some strategic if he goes, one. It's strategic. He, he needs He's to saying none of them. See, I don't believe it. He well, might have missed the notifications. No, no, no. Well, well she He's hasn't liked any of those Instagram photos. Okay. Maybe maybe she's not... Is that a telltale I think sign? That's the, I think that's the answer, though. If she's liking a couple, then, yeah. she, then she probably does like you. And if she's liking none... Then she really doesn't think, like you. <laughs> It, it's this question is so funny because you want to be like, oh come on, you're making a big deal out of nothing. Yeah, but then the answer is like, yeah, if she likes none of your none of your yeah. posts, she probably doesn't like you. But I get likes from girls that don't necessarily have a crush on me. So likes can either mean nothing or something, but not liking can only mean nothing. No likes are. I think likes on Instagram are always a little wink. They're but a little wink. I'm getting. I'm it getting have to from be like friends. I like you, but they're a little like you're cute. It's yeah. like a little. Like, <laughs> I think we need more information, first of all. We can't. We, this is all does, we got. This does is, he have his Instagram? Uh, Bob, I'm sure does have it, but I can't, oh, I can't yeah. access can't it. Well, we actually, you probably we search should. his email. Yeah, search, you should you search, search his, and see if yeah, they're likable. Search for him. Oh, you want me to search? Well, we need more information. In. Wait, like what kind of photos he has? How often Let's he... See him. Uh, and how many likes he gets on each of them? <laughs> this guy who wrote this email <laughs> is like mortified right now. Don't do that. Bob. Uh, Great so guy. Here's a here's a reverse question. What if she's liking all of the photos? Then does she like him, or is that like Ooh, that's so platonic that's that she's a like, I don't even give a fuck. I'll just like. Yeah, everything. that's a lot. Right. You might need to reassess if you like this girl. Well, when I like a girl, I like every single photo. Oh, well, maybe that's all a guy of them. Thing. That might be a dude yeah, thing. I think the, the girl were like very careful. <laughs> this account is. I private. recognize that it has no. I bet there's like no game associated with it at all. What this account is private. Nice. Oh, I'm so How many upset. posts does he have, though? Uh, 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 three. Oh, just 20. Oh, oh just okay. 20? You know what? This. He, it sounds I, like his Instagram might just be out. bad. There's also a chance that he has bad photos. Also, the question is does she follow him? Because if she doesn't follow him and doesn't like, then that's fine. But what if she follows and doesn't like? Oh, you know what, though? Sometimes. He only has 20 pictures. Yeah. <laughs> so. and here's, a, here's, a, here's a barrier for me, anyway. Uh-huh. If I'm looking through Instagram and there's a, a picture posted by a girl that I like, and I want to like it, but I see there's only like two other people that have liked it. So it's, if it's like the amount that my name, name. will yeah, be right under the, the photo as people are scrolling, I'll wait until it's like, oh, this photo's got 22 likes. Then I'll like it. It's also good I know to do only it. the person who posted will find wow. out. Sometimes I also get a notification, this girl liked your photo, and it's like from last November. I'm like, oh, this girl's digging deep. You got to so be means so more. careful. That means more than someone that just likes a photo that just came out. Yeah. Do you think, uh, do girls play this game or is it just a guy thing? Oh, that no, I we're think thinking everybody of? does. So when like <laughs> when you like a boy, are you like, ooh, I'm gonna like this photo, or I'm gonna follow him, or I'm gonna wait, or I hope he likes mine? It's a little of both. I mean, I think you have to be strategic about it, or right. you can just be upfront and be like, hey, I like you, or yeah, but not upfront. Yeah, but who that's does never, that? Oh, it's no, so scary. It's not. It's I remember it was see. over the holidays. I was showing my mom like. Uh, one of my friend's Instagrams and she was scrolling through trying to enlarge the photo. I was like, mom, no, this yes, oh is the double from, click. I was like, this is from last year. Stop. And like my sister like swipes the phone out of her hand and then I like go to dive to grab Dude, it in case it accidentally likes. I think I might've told this story on the podcast, but a friend of mine, like that happened the, the exact same thing, but it was like 
79 weeks back a picture of a guy and his ex-girlfriend that this girl was using to show like showing her dad a picture of the guy that she liked oh my and he God. liked it uh you have a million followers on instagram i think that's noteworthy okay. that's a lot of followers <laughs> you're making everybody feel a little weird all right you since you sat down all you're talking about is her millions of followers on youtube her millions of followers we're just we're just three dudes hanging in a room right Here's a now. question. Yes. If a guy likes your photo, how can you tell it's one of the 24,000? I need to be following that person because then I'll get the notification. So if I'm not following them, then it's it might be meaningless. Yeah, that's I my, I got the exact same yeah. thing. I also have like a million Instagram followers. I, I don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> I mean, I could check. Don't, I mean, uh, if it's a doing, million, that's a, I think you would know if it was a million. That's I know, a lot. I should. It's funny. I don't even keep track of that kind of thing. <laughs> but I've got, even if you don't keep track, all. but like yeah, you just, you probably point, just yeah. got to a million because it just said one million. Well, that must have been a mile marker like when it happened, right? Yeah. You're, like it, a million, you're like, oh, too. dope. And then you didn't have to think about it. So, Jake, you have 37,000. 37 million? No, 37. <laughs> I thought you said million. <laughs> no, of course not 37 million. That's good, though. Right. That's. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's good. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, this million. <laughs> so really, what this boils down to, Bob, I don't think she likes you. Or that's you need nice. to post more Instagrams. Okay, yeah. You can't, you can't, he's fishing without any, like, lure. Yeah. He needs food. He's not posting any photos, and he's wondering why this girl's not liking him. Yeah, he needs to post it, like, prime time, like, on her lunch break, when you know, oh, she's on there. <laughs> interesting. How often do you post? Uh, like once a day. That's pretty good. Or twice. That's, that's, that's nice. where you're I'm doing something fun. Have you gotten into Snapchat? I do like Snapchat. So had I started Snapchatting, my Instagram just died out. Like I find it hard to like mm. do both at this point. Yeah, I think it's one of those things you just sort of have to actually enjoy doing. Like I was got into Vine for a while, and then I was like, uh, okay, over that. So I just I don't really know. Yeah, of the like since you've been around for almost i guess even longer than jake and i have like right. you've seen it all you've seen like the rise and fall of so many social medias yeah has like, there have there been ones where you're like oh shit i should get into this one because everybody's like you're like early adopting all of them at yeah least, right? i mean for instagram i think i was the 103rd person to join <gasps> Holy so that's shit. like so long ago that's amazing. how did you do that i don't know and then at the time there was also um another website called daily booth which, oh, I remember yeah. Daily Booth. Yeah, oh man, God, I was obsessed with Daily Booth because I love sort of like the photo responses. But the problem with Daily Booth is it didn't have an app. So they both came out around the same time. Oh, So shit. I feel like if Daily Booth had an app, it could have been Instagram. Yeah. So, you know. You're like a, you're an internet historian. It's kind of interesting because <laughs> you have such a specific memory because you were so like prevalent and big so early on, starting yeah. like 2003. What other like social media stuffs do you remember besides Campus Hook and Daily Booth? Oh my gosh. I mean, well, of course, MySpace back in the day. I, mean, oh, yeah. I used MySpace. They used to call me the iPod girl because I mean, like, I didn't have a job. I was still like <laughs> living at home. And I found this site where you could do like affiliate links where people sign up and then you get free things oh, yeah. yeah oh this was great i right. had like five ipods and <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so i would like have all like my myspace photos like all these pictures with me and my ipods and be like you can get one too and refer like 25 people to sign up with their credit cards holy oh shit my god. i mean i was obsessed you really were oh, wow you, you, know. you know how to play the game yeah those free ipods from so the get -go. of the ones that are big now which ones are you still like using uh, I mean, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Um, there's a new one that came out recently called Peach. <gasps> I just heard about Did this last week. That's what Sam told us about. What's Peach? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, tell do you us. play Swing? <laughs> well, so, I, mean, I think it's by like the same guys that did like Vine. So it's sort of that uh, that crew. But it's kind of cool. It's sort of like a Facebook, Twitter type feed thing but it's sort of a more closed network right now so it's kind of like just your friends oh as I opposed see. to like following like public figures and stuff like that so it's kind of neat it's still really early will you follow so. me on peach <laughs> i'm actually converting from plum oh, i've had a plum account yes. what's your peach uh peachy fuzz 44 <laughs> peach boy a <laughs> little peach boy uh, uh yep cool well i'm That's glad we got to great. ask that uh you got to answer that question yeah so the Bob. answer is probably not right uh he needs i don't know He's do a, do he has work. to do a little digging, but like... Post some more. Oh, I'm sorry. If you only have 20 photos, like, did you just join like this week or what's that? I'm not sure. I'm confused. <laughs> I like that we're Instagram bullying him. I mean, million. at this point, like, what are you doing? <laughs> 20 photos? Like, get a, get a, shit or get off the pot. Yeah. yeah. Pri private account. Oh, I will only allow 20 people to follow me. <laughs> uh, oh, Bob. All right, Bob. Uh, here's another question from a lady. Oh, hello. Do, should we read the question again first? Of course, yes. All right. 
Hey guys, here's the problem. Back when I was a high school senior three years ago, I called dibs on this freshman that I knew was going to get really hot when he was older. Let's call him <laughs> Mark. So I began planting the seed and flirting with him and texting him. Anyway, I graduated and totally forgot about him. Now, three years later, my younger brother is on a sports team with Mark. So when I went to one of his tournaments, I saw him and I was right. The guy got super tall and super hot. He's still single, so of course I'm trying to replant the seed and get at him. Here's the issue. My younger brother's not happy about it. He thinks it's weird. I'm trying to get at someone his age, 18, and he thinks it's embarrassing. But what my younger brother doesn't understand is that I began settling this thing three years ago. I'm supposed to just stop trying to get at Mark when he's finally all grown up? My brother's biggest issue is that someone on his team is that he's that it's someone on his team that he has to interact with on the daily. Am I supposed to respect my brother's wishes, even though I called dibs on him three years ago and I have a really good eye? They're not even fr- <laughs> <laughs> they're not even friends. They're just teammates. What's the problem? Should I keep on keeping on? Thanks, guys. Love. Jill. <laughs> perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> Mark and Jill. Bob and Jill. Oh, yeah, Mark. Mark's this guy's name. Um, Does this ring true to you as a lady at all? all? So, wait. What what are the ages, do we think? Uh, She was 18 when he was 15. Right. Now he's 18. She's 21. Mm. 21 or 22. Do you have a younger brother? I don't. I have two younger sisters, though. Okay. So, I definitely have dated someone my sister's age. Yeah. And have you ever, like, have you ever been, like, hook me up with one of your friends? No. No, not really. I'm not really sure how to answer this. Yeah. But I mean, if she wants to go out to the club or go to the bar, your child boyfriend is not going to be able to go with you. <laughs> oh, so, so you're more concerned about the age difference being under 21 but and over 21. But I don't think 21. she's trying to like, I don't think she, all she wants to do is get at Mark. Yeah. Is that a new friend three times? Get at it. I, 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 I heard think she's just trying to hook up. I think she's trying to like. Okay. All right. Just like a one done thing. Then and go I mean, for it. Don't yeah. tell your brother. Get at it. Oh, you're saying it's okay. Your brother can't. What the what's the female uh, edition of cock block? <laughs> Co- it probably is cock block, right? <laughs> Isn't it vag blag? <laughs> well, it's um, still blocking no. from getting a cock. But it's like you're you're not blocking my cock. You're blocking my vagina. Yeah, but he's blocking a cock from her <laughs> pussy footing. <laughs> mm, I would still say it's cock block. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm not sure of what the phrase that we want to use about the blockage, but but sure, definitely... it's not pussy footing, right? <laughs> Brother blocking. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm not sure. A bro blow. Mm, I think that means something else. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a different question we have yeah. coming later. Uh, so you're saying a brother can't say no. I mean, if she wants to get at it, like I don't think she's gonna have. Would your sister any ever trouble. tell you no to a boy, or uh, has she ever? Yeah, she's like he's an idiot. Right, I'm like you're right. Oh, but you were see that's a difference. You like res- that's like an opinion you respect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy is not like oh no, this dude's a jerk. He's not right for you. He's like no, <laughs> you can't hook up with her. <laughs> it's gonna suck. I mean that whole that's gonna be all around the school. I mean basically yeah. she's gonna look. I don't know. I'm not sure what kind of one thing that <laughs> she might want to consider. It sounds like she doesn't need to, but like. It'll probably be pretty annoying for her brother to like have to deal with that in the locker room. Like, oh, I fucked your sister. Yeah. I fucked your sister. Yeah. But, and I'm not saying she has to care about that. I just want her to be aware that that's one of the consequences. <laughs> uh, I remember when my sisters were all seniors uh, two or three years after I graduated. And I used to want to hook up with their friends sometimes. And they would be like, no, you can't. And most of the time I didn't, but sometimes I did, and we just didn't tell them. Oh, so, so that's true. It could be a secret. It's also this guy. There's t- there seems to be two kinds of sisters. I don't have a sister. You guys have many. So maybe and and like tell me if I'm wrong. But there the one way is like nobody's fucking my sister. That's gross. You can't do that. And then the other kind is yeah, I want my sister to have sex with as many people as possible because that's good for them, and they want to help them out. <laughs> So do, is that like a phase that you grow in and out of? Or is that the kind of person you are? Someone who's like saying, no, you can't have sex with my sister. Or to please have sex with my sister. I think this is a guy thing. I mean, that's me and my sisters never really had that conversation. It's so, definitely a bo- like a yeah. boy's oh, protective. protective of like when I was in high school, I didn't want anybody to have sex with my sisters. And now that I'm older, I don't necessarily want everybody to have sex with my <laughs> sisters. But I want them to have fulfilling happy lives and i understand that part of that is having 
meaningful sex or not meaningful sex but just the kind of sex that they want i don't know i just hope they're doing whatever they want were you protective with your older sister as well as your younger uh, or is it a younger sister thing i no. i mean i would try to be protective of my older sister but it was hard to be intimidating to the guys that my older sister would hang out with because i was scared of them. <laughs> yeah. but like, like my, you as an 18 year old yeah, walking the, up to a 30 year old right like the get tri- away from her when the triplets would come home with guys i could just like be in the room and be like you know i would be like an asshole but when my older sister would come around with boys, I would be like, <laughs> "You want to toss the football around, dude?" I, don't know, I would be like a little dick, and I would like hide. But then when like that guy left, I would like do things to <laughs> deride him. <laughs> I would like do little dickling things, like, try to eat away at his reputation. Yeah, spritz Clorox on his sandwiches and little oh, that things like nice. that. Yeah, yeah. I poisoned him like Putin. Uh, so you're saying go for it. It, I mean, it, I think your best bet is wait till we graduate high school first, because that's uh, just weird. You're talking about the age thing again. It's still, yeah, I mean, it, the, look, no issues with age, but I feel like when you're 18 in high school and yeah. you're in college, that's the then difference. it's a little strange. But if you just want to get at it, then just get at it and don't tell anybody. That's what I'm saying. Get don't at tweet it and don't it. tell anybody. Yeah. All right. It's all like it's legal, so that's fine. Yeah. I also, I'll say get at it and don't tell anybody. That way you can have your cake and eat it too. Yeah. Otherwise, you just have cake. Plus, it'll th- be hot. This girl called it three years ago. It'd be a shame for her not to sell high yeah. after buying so I think she really so just low. wanted to sort of brag about like, yeah. having a good eye. She called it. It's funny because that's like, <clears throat> I guess I didn't even think about it when she's like, how insanely creepy would it be if we saw a 15 year old and I was like, dibs. Yeah. I'm it's telling weird. you right now in three years, she's But when it's a, a girl doing show. it to a guy, it's a little less creepy. <laughs> I guess a little bit, but it is. <laughs> Ultimately, I wouldn't be as proud of it as she is. No, I don't think she should. She should tell people about this email, yeah. Jill. <laughs> when I was eighteen and he was fifteen, I called that he was going to be a sexy ass dude, <laughs> and I was right. Do you have an age limit? Do you inquire or care? I mean, eighteen might be a little young, but I mean, so, yeah, right, yeah. But, but for you, do you like? Look, if you're a nice person, yeah. And you like video games and you're kind <laughs> and you don't mind that sometimes I want to sit in my house and do nothing, then yeah, it's great. It what if I out. love video games, but I'm not kind? <laughs> does well, does having one like a lot of one of the requirements yeah, make it depends a on what console. Oh wow. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. I love GameCube. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I used to love GameCube. Crazy Taxi. <laughs> Crazy Taxi. I was bailed out of college because of the uh, Mario Kart GameCube. Wow, so, the Cube. Stuff. Yeah, it was great. I remember when games used to come on CDs. Although those were like mini CDs. Yeah. I was thinking now that the games don't even come on a CD, right? Yeah, it's you just all like, download yeah. wireless data. Well, they still have them on CDs, which actually, well, especially for like Xbox, because it takes forever to install. It's better to even get the cd because it takes so long to download yeah oh. like five terabytes of shit like, over okay, wi-fi cool this is great yeah i remember getting a game recently like i don't even it's it's been two and a half hours and i don't think i've played it yet <laughs> is this the game or a movie it takes so long <laughs> can we play tetris yet uh cool let's take jill, a, get at it yeah jill get at it don't tell Shh. uh let's take a break to thank one of our sponsors you don't have to do anything, Justine. Okay, cool. You I'll have take to a drink sitting. of my water. Yeah, yeah, take a drink of your water. And then we'll be back with more questions. Thank you as well to BlueApron.com for sponsoring this episode. All right. One of our favorites, a product we actually like and use. Uh, the fact of the matter is you need to know how to cook, and Blue Apron makes it easy to do so. <laughs> you got to know how to cook, and Blue Apron makes you know how. So now that you know, uh, for less than $10 a meal, Blue Apron delivers fresh ingredients that you need to create home-cooked meals. Then you just follow the recipe cards that they give you, and you're a chef of yourself. You've turned into a chefsman. Yeah, you get to eat dinner that you made because they sent you ingredients and told you how to do it, but you get to feel pretty good about yourself. Still counts. It still counts. Yeah. Uh, and the food is actually good, and there's stuff for every dietary restriction, whether you're a uh, vegetarian or not. For example, this week, they're serving up buffalo chicken sandwiches, yes, uh, seared dude. salmon, uh, if yes. you want. And then if you want some veggie stuff, there's cacciatore-style baked eggs. There's butternut squash and poblano chili. It's all pretty fancy. It's all very good. It's all very healthy, and it's all very affordable, and you make it yourself. It's with blueapron.com. Dope. Uh, and if you want a little extra sauce, a little extra fun, a little extra discount, uh, you get your first two meals for free if you go to blueapron.com slash if I were you. That's blueapron.com slash if I were you. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. 
Do you, can you beat that catchphrase? Uh, yeah. Well, I feel like you didn't let me talk for the last. Okay. Last, Blue Apron, Blue Apron, Blue mm-hmm. Apron. A better way to cook. Like, I didn't really get a word in edgewise. All right. So, so delicious and good for you. <clears throat> Blue, a- Blue Apron. Here it is. Blue Apron. Blue Apron. Be it now. What? Blue Apron. <laughs> Be it now. You're yelling. <laughs> You don't need to yell. I wasn't yelling. And the catchphrase didn't make sense. I was excited. Be to... it now. That's off Be the it. Freaking, yeah, it was off the freaking dome. You obviously, you had time to think. I didn't think. This is this is their actual, that's oh, their slogan. Well, they had a lot of time to think, and that was just off the off the tip of my head, dude. Give me one more. Blue Apron. What's up with you, then? Oh, my God. Awesome. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> uh, let's get back to Justine. Hey, we're back with Justine. Hmm. Is Eric? He's Eric, yeah, that's He's good. Eric. He's Eric. He's Eric. What kind of last name is that? Oh shoot, it's something. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> I asked the hard hitting questions after you know, the break. I've got it in my notepad somewhere. Yeah, so it's I'll fine. look it up for you. I'll just say Polish. It actually, yeah, it's it's over there. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, uh, cool. Love it. Uh, you're still making videos for the internet. Yep. Still uh, hustling. You're still the same dre, right? But have been low key. Hated on by most G's. Huh? What are you working on nowadays? <laughs> um, well, you know, still doing the YouTube stuff, and yeah. I did a book tour and everything last year. So you wrote a was, book? I did. Yeah, it was really kind of crazy. Hard? It was. Did you write all the words in it? <laughs> I wrote most it a, of the words. Okay, is it a picture book or is it all like a <laughs> yeah, chapter it, book? It's actually a picture book. There are some pictures. She wrote the words in the picture. I just want to know still. if it's sort of like a like a cooking book or something, yeah. or is if it it's a cooking like, book? Uh, is it? Yeah, like. What's the length of, of the book? Um, so, well, it was kind of telling sort of my internet story, but it was oh. also kind of weird because when I wrote it, I don't remember anything about What do you mean? Any, like, was, that's how I started tweeting and like making videos and blogging because I can't remember anything. You're like the so, girl from Memento. Yeah. So I'm going back and I like laid out all of my tweets from like 2006 and I'm like, <gasps> going back and like trying to oh, take wow. pictures from like Flickr and try to find websites. Flickr. That's like, another great one yeah, from back like, in the day. I remember Flickr. Trying to piece together my life and figure out how the hell did I get here. So it's kind and, of an autobiography? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it still follows along with like the where people can kind of trace back to like where they were at that time in their life too. Cool. Like, on the internet. like I didn't know Twitter was around in two thousand six. Like, yeah. yeah, I remember back in the day you had to like text your tweets in, and I was so 404. confused. Four oh four oh four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the reason that Twitter had that text limit because it was supposed to be only text message based. Right. So one hundred forty characters was enough for the text and your username holy shish kebabs wow see i should read your book (laughs) (laughs) so what are you doing now that the book is done oh so i actually got a puppy recently congrats thank you oh my god that's a big deal the hardest thing that i've ever done in my life yeah everything i'm i'm thinking about getting a dog actually okay cool so do you uh plan on leaving the house for three months (laughs) or doing anything (laughs) all the time i love traveling (laughs) next question (laughs) why i'm never home i also hate dog food (laughs) my god no it was like the craziest thing ever but uh, i did this project where i was you know promoting like pet adoption and i told them i was like there's no way i can get a dog and then i saw this dog and i fell in love oh my god naming him after my sister's boyfriend which what? Is, are they still so, going out yes yeah, so oh my god what strange. if they break up oh god well then we've got we've got mad and mad so what is what kind of dog is it so we did a dna test it is a we thought it was a poodle maltese but it's a poodle chihuahua lhasa apso if that's how you pronounce it i want to see pictures so bad we'll oh do my that after god the podcast. we will i'm but talking yeah. about getting a poodle myself actually you should oh yeah. they're so sweet and so smart okay all right this yeah. is getting really nervous <laughs> i really want to get a dog we're gonna talk we uh, will we'll talk after but my dog is a DJ. He's excuse actually me. working on an album. Sorry, excuse me, what? Uh, a DJ, okay. album, music. Right. I'll <laughs> have course. it on Spotify and iTunes and everywhere. Does but, he, what? what does he do? Does he spit fire? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You should hear him. He's so, great. So, he's, so he can flow. So, yeah. What are Who does some his of, beats? Who produces his tracks? We've, I've actually been working with a bunch of different artists. Uh-huh. And, you know, like my goal is really to get like Skrillex or Diplo or Zed or something to collaborate really, with him. Yeah. But I need to show that he's a worthy enough producer himself. So right. we're working on that. But what would be really fun uh-huh. is because he has a rescue. So I want to do like a tour where we go to different cities and then people and different shelters can bring their dogs to the tour so people oh. can adopt at oh. like the shows and then like a portion of his album sales and of course he's gonna have music videos of and course merch. so a portion of that will go to like helping you know different rescues and stuff like that that's beautiful we have this puppy now he is now seven and a half months whoa very yes, new he's does, real fresh does he have a website uh, he doesn't have a website but he has twitter instagram yeah does so, he have a hashtag or does he have his own uh instagram he, uh dj mini matt is his instagram does he have more instagram followers than jake does how many did you have <laughs> 
I think it was a million. I think you we loser. <laughs> it was You're a million. You're losing to a doggy. I think he might have like 70,000, maybe. <laughs> Dumbass. He has more than you, too. Dick. <laughs> Can he repost something with the repost ad? I'd love for him my, to regram. I actually have a pretty cool photo I took of a dog the other day. I was going to bring him, but if I have to go somewhere after you this. Were... So I'm sorry. I'll come back. I'll leave oh, like you know, three days before I have to get here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you come back on Sunday? So leave tonight. Yes, west side to east side. If you ever need a dog like a, res- or a dog, um, um, babysitter. babysitter? Or, okay, yeah, great. I'll um, watch the dog. Promise? Well, it's called dog sitting. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> That's actually the hardest part. Sorry, dog babysitter. <laughs> this dog has a, has an album, so I don't think it's quite as simple as dog babysitter. I, it's artist babysitting. Well, even when I got the dog, I was like, oh, "That'll be fine. I could just have people watch him." But now I'm like, I don't want anyone to watch him. He's like my child. Right. I can't even imagine. Do you ever get mad at him? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Do you ever say, "Oh, you're a naughty little doggy, <laughs> you you naughty dog"? <laughs> you're just so you everybody at home. <laughs> Listen, Amir's, Amir's not just saying that. You're also, you're miming slapping. I'm, so I'm hitting the spout. So you're saying something. I'm hitting the spout of the dog. You're essentially asking her if she's <laughs> abusing the dog. You have to have oh. a little tough love sometimes, actually. Yeah. I don't know if you know that, You Justine. naughty dog. <laughs> you, you, you lift it up by the neck, Justine, and you wiggle the dog. And no. say whatever. No, I mean, if you want to, if I am, you know, waving my hand like that, I'm usually catching puke or crap coming out of his butt. So that that's, is where, the that's crap where comes we currently out. are. Oh, you can here. let it land on the floor, actually, and then pick it up. Mm. I, I feel like you're doing that wrong. So you're yeah. catching his shit before it reaches the sidewalk? <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah, it can oh, hit the No, sidewalk. in the house. Oh, I in the house. Yes. <laughs> Don't hit the table. No, no, oh, no, thank no. God. It only landed on my hand. Oh, oh really? when I had, God. When I, I, I did this thing where I was like fostering rescue dogs. Oh. Oh, and I so only did, I had this one dog. Um, her name was Betty, and I remember like at four in the morning, what, she was like sort of like barking a little <laughs> bit, and I like, woke up, and oh, I just woke up, and it's like the moonlight, the blue moonlight was <laughs> shining, and she just she backed away from my bed, <laughs> she crouched, and she took a, <laughs> the hugest shit on the floor. She and wanted I was, you like, to see, and I just like put my hand. I was like, "Why did you?" <laughs> You're the boss of me. <laughs> it's she gets a, to decide. Yeah, now she, you have to clean up the yeah. shit. I'm like, it's oh, you, it's like living with a bully who can't talk. It's you true. asshole. But they look cute. So you. Oh, so cute. What like, if they didn't look? But they really cute. are. The, they're in charge. Yeah, for sure. I'm like, what do you want to do today? Okay, this is what we're doing. Oh, we're, you want to go into the studio today? Okay, great. Let me get my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, you're you're living that freelance lifestyle. You don't have a nine to five. It's true. It's true. Yeah. So your hours can be dictated by this animal. Yeah. It's true. When he naps, I nap. Like for the first couple of months that I had him, I like had to cancel everything. He had terrible allergies. Like I couldn't leave him because he was like itching his body to death. And I mean, I thought I was like, this is the end of me. Oh, and when wow. you leave, it doesn't she or he he cry. It's a boy. Um, he no, he's actually very good. All he, they call considered. that separation anxiety. And there's <laughs> actually do. a couple because my my dog <laughs> little Betty had separation anxiety. Yeah. Oh, Betty. And there's some ways to there's some ways to treat it. Actually, Justine and I are talking about doing a little dog <laughs> podcast. What is this it would called? Be great. A, a dog, dog cast. cast. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Mini Matt. DJ Mini Matt. Seventy thousand Instagram oh, followers. God. He's cute. How is that fair to me? You know, uh, should be a DJ. Do you have time? I know you have to go to dinner, but do you have time to answer one more question? Oh yeah, we're good. It's probably gonna. If I leave now, it's gonna take me five hours to get yeah. there. Yeah, so, it's all so good. you're gonna miss. Where it you going anyway. to dinner? Um, it's actually not a dinner. Cool. But it's an event. I of hate it. Yeah. yeah, it's a it's a food based evening event, and yes. they'll have chicken and rice and mm-hmm. a dessert. Chicken, rice, and a dessert. <laughs> yeah. But I wouldn't call it a dinner. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know. Just chicken and rice, no vegetable. Uh, I'm not even sure where I'm going. To be honest with you. <laughs> You're getting kidnapped at six p.m. <laughs> we should say this is kind of another exciting part of this podcast. We're recording this Thursday at five. This is going straight online. We usually wait a bit. We're going to post this today. Bonus episode Thursday. It's, wow. it's instantaneous. Um, within an hour. That's wow. really great. This is great. as close to live to tape as podcasts can be. So if you have anything, you can plug something that's happening in two and a half hours. Hmm. Well, I've got nothing. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah. Other Still, than this event. Follow my dog. DJ Mini Matt's <laughs> <laughs> album drops great. at six. Uh, uh, um. Uh. Okay. Boy, what's our next question? I just can't wait. I know. Great question. This is... Oh, don't give me a name yet. Let me read the question okay. first. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Here's my sticky situation. My current girlfriend of a year has her birthday coming up at the end of this month, and her ex-boyfriend is buying her a $200 to $400 tattoo. I can't help feeling pissed off. Our relationship has, uh, it was being swell up until now, and because of this recent predicament, materialistic sides of her personality have come to light, and when I think back through her history, I should have seen it all along, because it's exactly who she is. This shit has hit the fan, and I'm having trouble with our relationship. I hate to think it's essentially because of this whole tattoo thing, in which case I know I'm very jealous about it, but I also feel like the ex-boyf is crossing the best friend line a little bit. I feel like my, I like my, uh, sorry, I still like my girlfriend a lot, and I could possibly get over all this and continue happily dating her, but I felt my love slip a little, having a clear (laughs) picture of who she is. So my question is, am I being totally, am I totally just being a jealous bitch, or is the ex-boyfriend doing something icky by buying this 19-year-old ex-girlfriend of his a tattoo, and is my girlfriend at any fault here? Thanks for the advice. Love... Sammy. <laughs> Sammy. 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 Sandwich. Uh, you guys should just break up. That's it. Like, get out. Like, honestly, <laughs> like, that's... I love that fucking advice so much. Like, you already know this is not going to work. And how old are you, 19? Trust me. It's well, not she's going... 19. Maybe he's... A, he's, he's 40. He's 48. Yeah. <laughs> he's 45. Okay, then you need to marry her now because... <laughs> You, you gotta screwed. lock this shit up, man. Yeah. He called dibs when she was four. <laughs> an ex, an ex, an ex giving your current girlfriend a tattoo. What a what a slap in the face that is. And she's By the way, it's his it. name on her on her lower back. <laughs> yeah, we need to know what the tattoo is. Yeah, just the Placement. fact that it's a permanent thing that you'll have to st- stare it's at. A, it's a big heart that says Sammy's a bitch. <laughs> it's like buying her a tat buying her a gift is one thing getting a tattoo is another and then the fact that it's all combined into one mega f you he also slipped in the fact that, like he's overdoing like he's crossing the best friend line like yeah. oh i'm anytime you are dating somebody they're like i'm still real i'm still best friends with my ex i would be like and we don't date anymore <laughs> that's yeah. it that's you can a be good friends i'm friends with most well, almost all my exes but, all my exes yeah. hate me but <laughs> <laughs> and they hate you i respect it <laughs> well, People being friendly with their exes is fine. People being friends with their exes, I would probably be like, I don't want, I don't know, I don't like it. But if it's like best friends with your ex, but wait, like, the best friend line is he is that his best friend or is that her best friend? Sounds like her. He doesn't like this guy at all. Okay. How many exes do you have that you're friends with? All of them. I mean, like a handful. You can tell us exactly. <laughs> name names. <laughs> Please name names. No, but I think I mean I think as you get older too, it's like there's no point if you invest so much time with someone that would, would any right. of them give you a birthday gift? Um no. Yeah, no. that's good. That's, yeah, that's where right. it definitely I think crosses the line. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm I could probably actually say that my I'm like friendly with or I'm friends with my exes. Like nobody really hates me. But yeah. I w- and maybe I would text them on their birthday. Yeah, a text. But that's Max. Or like an emoji. Speaking of birthday, I got you a present. What? What? Yes. How? And why? As you were telling me it was your birthday, I was ordering something for myself, so I just ordered two of them. Oh my gosh. This it's is not the first wrapped. gift giving. Okay, hold on. This is this is a um, podcast of firsts. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Here you go. <gasps> I'm holding in my hand a deck of cards called Poop the Game. Yes. And it's a card game called Poop, correct? Yeah, I haven't played it yet, but I was on Amazon <laughs> and I was looking for a game that had to do with poop. Like, just, you, you know, I'm not really sure where I was going you with that. You were looking for... Well, you, like a, before you knew that poop, this game existed, you were like know. just Googling, I looked up, is there a game about poop? I looked up poop board game and then I saw these cards and so you... How did that come up? I don't know. I was looking for video ideas. And have you played really, this game before? I have not, but I think you kind of play with a bunch of people and then you keep putting cards into the toilet, which is the center of... Wow. Wait, yeah. into an actual toilet? Not an oh, actual dude. toilet, uh, but then you can clog the toilet. I'm not really 100% sure, but it sounded fantastic, so this I just amazing. added an extra to my cart. This is the best gift I go. got today. No offense, Jake, because Jake also gave me his gift oh, today, but it was on. a real piece of shit compared to this. <laughs> this is an actual... Yeah, this is an actual, actual gift. gift. What you gave me was what? A, it was, a Kleenex. It was a framed photo of the two of us All right, the first so, date. Uh, oh. Let's see. How to play poop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it wasn't that cute. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you took that photo the day we met, which you do with everybody, just in case the relationship <laughs> blossoms into something special. <laughs> we should take a photo together. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> that's nice. I mean, 
meant idea. me, just me and you. Okay, or, okay. Yeah, I've got yeah, this. Sure. Yeah, I've got the Polaroid camera. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is not okay. The girlfriend is kind of going a little bit too far. She shouldn't accept a tattoo, a permanent uh, mark on her. Uh, I think it's a picture of the guy f- uh, flicking the current boyfriend mm. off on her abdomen. So why is he? This guy keeps on being like, I thought she wasn't so materialistic. Is he just saying like it, she? Maybe she's saying. It doesn't mean anything to me, but it's an expensive tattoo, and I want it, and he wants to pay for it. So. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it seems like this is just opening a whole can of worms. But let's, I'm just going to just take, just for posterity, I'm going to take the stance of, like, of not being jealous, right? Okay. So you, you just say, like, wow, what a fucking loser. This guy wants to wants to give my girlfriend $200. Yeah, baby, take it. That's, yeah, that's, I'm going to take it. That's this herb dish, <laughs> like... <laughs> opening his wallet to somebody that I'm fucking. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. you can be empowered by that situation, too. <laughs> but the fact that it's a tattoo is just a constant... Re- like, she wants she wants to, if not uh, consciously, but subconsciously, look and think about this ex-boyfriend every day for the rest of her life. When if he said that she, he thinks she's materialistic and this is not something new... I mean, it's already... I think, clearly, something's not going well. Right. I think so... this... Yeah, this thing... It, it definitely it's coloring the entire relationship for this guy right now. It's like this boyfriend's doing this, and then he's like, "And I now I don't know if I like her at all as a human being." Yeah, I mean, if you think you don't like her, you probably don't like her. So you should save your time and yeah, do yeah. something else. There's a there's a girl out there who's so good she won't even get a tattoo purchased by her ex boyfriend on her birthday. That's true. And why don't, you, why don't you look for that? It'll be I like a, a breath of fresh air. Jill also is looking to get it. So. Oh, should we? <laughs> Jill was trying to get at Wait, somebody. did we ever give yeah. this guy a name? Oh, yeah. What'd you call him? Sammy. Sammy. Jill and Sammy actually might be a thing. And then maybe she'll like your Instagram photos and Bob will get Let's all, all get Jill in. and Sammy tattoos. That- <laughs> Since you use email and all this like high-tech stuff over here, you should do an email intro with everyone. Oh, uh, yeah. And- they can fight it you out. You should have our podcast because you would make it so much nicer. <laughs> I just wanted to intro you guys. I think you guys all have some things to talk about. Yeah. So. That is true because we are ending one relationship. We should start another one. We should. Yeah, that way the universe stays at balance. Because mm-hmm. I think Jill's probably going to end up in jail because Mark probably isn't actually 18. And then yeah. this is all going to come out. Statutory rape. lying to us. Uh, she called Dib when he was in middle school. Yeah, she shouldn't write that. He was 15. <laughs> That's high school. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I was just, you know. <laughs> yeah, but she was probably 18 at the time. She said she was a senior. Oh, this is getting wild. <laughs> so, let's not think about it too much. Let's stop. Uh, speaking of <laughs> intros, I told, did I ever mention that the guy who wrote the opening theme song's name was Massimo? I don't think so. I don't know if he did. Uh, no. Massimo. So thanks, Massimo. Uh, and the closing theme song is written by uh, a group or a trio of humans called Webster, Webster, and Cohen, which sounds like a law firm. Yeah. Uh, Justine. Yes. Thanks for coming on our show. Thanks for having me. This was great. So exciting. It's going to be online. You can listen to it at your event later. I can't th- which wait. is what you should do. I will. You should put one earbud in and then the other one like or if sort there's of dangling an aux down. cable there. Oh yeah, Maybe then you could play a speaker. Yeah. You're like look where I just was. Yeah. Listen cool. to this. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually not a terrible idea. Sure uh, it is. If you listening out there have your own questions or your own theme songs, the email address for all of that is if I were you show at gmail.com. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks again for coming in. Thanks. And we'll be back on Monday, if you can believe it. Monday. Uh, later, everybody. Peace. Bye. If I were you, I'd listen to these two young shoes giving their views. I wouldn't have a clue Seize the That was a headgum podcast.